Of course, Rhaenyra's voiceover reaffirming that Viserys chose her to sit on the Iron Throne, not her half-brother Aegon. We also see here what appears to be a small funeral, most likely for her son Lucerys, who was killed in the finale of Season 1. The funeral is attended by both of Daemon's daughters, Rhaenys, Corlys, and Rhaenyra's sons. Real quick, I wanted to touch on this official image released by HBO, and I absolutely love that they got rid of Jace's wig for Season 2. In Season 1, it was ridiculous. And yeah, no, it wasn't good. And we're just gonna go with his natural hair and it just looks so much better. The actor, of course, looks like he grew a bit between seasons, which is expected. Same thing happened with the brand actor for Thrones, and I must say, he looks very strong now. In the next scene, we get a nice shot of Harrenhal from a distance, and let's just make this very clear, we have seen Harrenhal before. It was very prominent in seasons 2 and 3 in Game of Thrones, where we get scenes between Arya and Tywin, and then Jaime and Roose Bolton. But we've never seen it from this side before. Over here on the right is most likely the Isle of Faces, for the book fans in the comments. And yes, in the lore, in the books, this is a very important place. And we'd be getting a big battle around here later on, but other than that, it's most likely in there, because Ryan Condal is a super fan, and he's just throwing book readers a bone, and trying to stay true to geographic lore. So thanks to him for that. He didn't have to do that, but I'm glad he did. And he threw in some weirwood trees as well. Good on him. Next up, we have Rhaenyra outside of Storm's End recovering Luke's body. If you'll recall, Storm's End is the Baratheon castle, and it's where Aemon and Luke had their confrontation last season. And yes, that is Storm's End. You can tell because the giant tower looks like a big penis. George R. R. Martin is very fond of making objects look like dicks. Seriously, that South Park parody of George singing about wieners wasn't really parody. It was more like a documentary, if anything. Next shot here with Rhaenyra having dinner is very significant because it's our first look at the dragon seeds. If you turn up the brightness just a tad, we can see here a character with distinct white hair, looks like a huge man with a big beard which matches the description of Hugh Hammer, played by actor Kieran Bew. Next to him is most likely Ulf and one of the Hall brothers. Rhaenyra is showing the dragon seeds her conviction to win the war and likely offering rewards to them to side with her. For those of you who haven't read the books, dragon seeds are bastards of Valyrian descent, usually fathered by someone from House Targaryen or Valarion. In the last season, Daemon says how they're sucking towards her dragon, surrounded by dragon keepers on Dragonstone, and I must say, I really do hope we get more of a tour of Dragonstone from this area, where they house some of the dragons. Yes, I know I'm saying dragons a lot. We saw plenty of it back during the Game of Thrones era, but I would love to see more of it around this time, especially, and how they house the dragons there. And then we get one of the biggest cock teases in both the trailers, a voiceover of Cregan Stark and the back of his head as he and Jace walk along to the top of the wall. This is huge for many reasons. First and foremost, Jace was sent to Winterfell to treat with Cregan. This is true in the show and books. Him being at the wall is completely new and original. It's not in the books. It's rumored in the books that Jace has a secret affair with Cregan's sister, Sarah Snow, and the general theory here is that Cregan and Jace will be the best of buds and show Jace around the wall, and perhaps they may encounter some White Walker-like threats. Maybe. There have been rumors here and there, but we'll have to see. All I can say to this is, I, I hope to God it's done well, because this can go wrong so very quickly. I understand people didn't like season 7 and 8, and yes, I'm in that camp as well, and the thing that they should be trying to do is steer clear of anything White Walker related, since it just wasn't concluded in a very satisfying manner, but at the same time, this is a chance for them to soften how badly it was done. The verdict is still out on whether or not the dagger prophecy thing that Viserys showed Rhaenyra in episode 1 of season 1 was like a really good thing, so we'll just have to see where they go with it. Next up, we get quick shots of battle, the high towers, and Corlys doing his usual war speech, and later, we'll get Rainey's doing her usual cautionary tale of dragons, violence, and blah blah blah. It's basically her only purpose in these trailers is to be the voice of reason, but you've heard it before. I will say, I do love Damon in this trailer because he essentially threatens whoever he's talking to that they either support Rhaenyra or die a very painful, fiery death, and yeah, I'll take it. Uh, but for the most part, it's the same thing as last time. Brooding, preparing, charging, or threatening, and the occasional shot of Rhaenyra looking sad to close out our black trailer. Uh, so, r real quick, the Greens are called as such because of that awesome scene of young Alicent walking into the wedding with her green dress. Nix explained that the High Towers have a green flame burn on their tower to signify that they're going to war. And Rhaenyra's faction being called the Blacks is a good one. 